I have a few things going on today. I just want to catch you up. We're still been working on stuff like crazy, but it's not really stuff we could film, right? So we're getting ready to start on this again. Um, we got a few things I'm going to show you here, and then we're going to use the press. Almost all of this is trash, except for the parts need to separate for the S63. But I don't want to throw anything away yet for this car until we kind of got back together. In case they're missing a little something, a bracket, a bolt, such here or there. Anyhow, the engine is back in this car, the 46 And, well, that doesn't want to zoom out. Anyhow, Phillip's not here, so I'm using the phone today. Uh, before my cousin Mahiki left, and we put all this in. This is all in, just kind of bolted up. And nothing's hooked up yet because we're waiting on a bunch of different stuff. Now, one of the things we're waiting on was these lollipop bushings before we go any further. And we just got the new ones in. These are the Lemon Dolfer, Lemon Dolfer ones right here. The ones that came in the kit, which we use these kits a lot, the whole front end kit. I think this is 200 bucks for this one. It comes with all the control arms, uh, sway bar links, inner and outer tie rod and boots, tie rod boots. Because all these boots are all ripped up on this thing. So it came with everything. All new ball joints, which we already put on the frame. But the lollipop bushings on this all-wheel drive, the passenger side one is very hard to get to. And when we went to put the new bushings in, I could take this and just drop it and it falls right through it. It was too small. So the limb dolphin one we just got in is not too small, actually fits correctly. Now when you press these in, there is a mark right here, as you can see. Whenever you press it in, there is also a mark right here on top. I need to double look and make sure this is the way it goes. I'm pretty sure it does. That mark lines up with this mark. And you press it in because the bushings are actually offset on the all-wheel drive cars. And this is totally different than a two-wheel drive E46. They have the bolts for this are side-by-side -side instead of uh, vertical. Here is the old bushing, and they're just ratty, man. Like, maybe we could have left the lollipops. But why would you do that when you're replacing everything else? The whole angle of this car is to make it mechanically not totaled, right? It was mechanically totaled. That means it's not worth fixing. But I do see the prices of E46 is coming up. This is all-wheel drive E46, and the leather was perfect in it. It needs minor paint repair work. And it's going to be a really nice-looking car, which is very odd for an e46 to be nice anymore at all um so let's go ahead and go over to the press here's these are alignment to that right there go see a little nub is dirty it's hard to see nub right there so we're going to put this one aligned to that it doesn't matter which way it goes and this bushing is more offset that one is totally shot so it's hard to tell and I think, I believe both of these, is this other new? This is the bad one. This is the other, the cheap one. So it was offset also. And you could actually <laughs> just push it right down in there. So that's a no-go. So let's toss that to the side, fire the press up, we'll be right back. So it's actually pretty simple. We're back here in the dark corner, open the blinds so you can see what's going on. We just set a big socket on top of it, line the marks up. And essentially, I'll go back here just the one hand with our Harbor Freight press. And we set our blocks up down here just so it barely catches the outer edge of this. We're gonna press her on in. Try to get it through each side about the same amount. And if it feels like it stops at any time, that means that your bushing's hitting your metal pieces. You gonna slide out, are you? Gonna slide out, are you? All right, let me reset it and we'll keep going here. Okay, so we just pressed them in. Everything turned out really good. This one got a little bit mangled. We're gonna take the hammer and probably fix that. Jesus, Jesus. Um, the socket slipped off. So I went and grabbed my, look at the state of this place, boys. 
Look at the state of this place. It's a freaking total mess. Grab that. I got the other little piece out of that. That worked. Holy crap. It's a whole nother thing cleaning the shop. I can't tell you how many times. Oh, this stayed clean. We clean. Eh, eh, clean this place. And it's just so much crap in a small area. Uh, for sure. Okay, so that's pressed out. The only thing I have to do now is lift the car up and press out that um, transmission bushing. And hopefully I have the right cups for my C-clamp press. So I guess maybe we'll do that right now. So it's a few days later, we ordered the tool. We have the end to push it back in. We have the cup in the car for the diff bushing. We have the bigger cup. Of a smaller cup and this is our setup and stand light. you can see where we started pushing it apart we have a cup on back we just essentially have a little piece here with two pegs on it that fits in a bolt that goes through and we take a wrench and we're just turning this thing and it's just popping the bushing right out Trying to hold this thing steady while doing that is kind of difficult. A little bit difficult. And it's just pull that cup right through. Anyway, we're gonna finish doing this. We'll get on the workbench. I'm gonna show you how bad this thing actually was. All right, the carnage, boys. So I just pressed it out using the wrench. Not using really any much force at all. And all of a sudden it wouldn't turn. Nothing's bottomed out. So we're more than half of the way out. But it's still stuck in there. And look at this. Our tool we just paid $129 for. Look at the threads. See, the whole thing's bent too. That's what pisses me off about this stuff. If like the cups and everything is good, but you're gonna put some Chinese tin foil bolt in there, I don't understand. So what we're gonna do. All this is still good. What we're not gonna do is probably reuse these nuts. The nuts seem they're fine. I probably can't find that same thread. We're gonna go to the hardware store right now and we're gonna get a bolt this size. Also the first time I tightened it up, all the bearing, all the balls fell out. Sweet, huh? So we're gonna go do that right now before they close because we still need this to get the rest of the way out and to push anyone back in. So away we go. This is all we got, boys. The problem with living in a small town, hell, the problem with living in anywhere, is you can't ever get what you need. This is a Saturday evening at almost six. That's the closest we get. Maybe that. Hopefully we have enough here to get the rest of the bushing out and to put the new bushing in. Otherwise, this baby's on hold again for another hard telling how long until I custom order a grade eight or grade this is like grade zero, grade something better than that bolt. So was this worth $129? No, uh, but it's only when you can really buy that cheap. It does have all the cups. All the cups are good steel, so there is that. So other than this, uh, that's only a 3 or $4 bolt, but it's not here. So let's hook this back up and try it. Carriage bolts did work, even though it's pretty much taxed the bolt to the max just by doing that. So we just put the new one in which is right here. I got it all the way. I mean, it's bottomed out, so it's all the way in. And then I loosened it up right before we started the video. We're gonna disassemble this thing real quick. And I'll show you what we stacked in here to do this. So essentially, put those down there. As we're gonna start pulling the bolt out, we had this on here backwards. See, it's kind of, the hole's kind of slotted. Put my hand out of the screen. And this is, there's two of these. This is also one here. But how it works is this kit has two different cups to it to fit two different bushings, right? And there's our bolt with the nut that we had none on the other end. Just enough to do it, but this is a grade three bolt. Just started rolling the threads on it. So my question is what grade is the original bolt? Grade one, grade zero, grade Chinese plastic. 
probably. Here is the old bushing. You can see how ripped out it is. It's totally, totally, totally ripped. When the way the tranny's laying on it, it's just all gouged out real bad. You see there's all torn out. In there, torn away from the center. That'll cause a whole bunch of slack in it. It's about to rip up there in the corner one more time. You can see right there. Could not put that back in. Totally separated. So, now, now we could disassemble all this other crap. We gotta do the dry shaft. We gotta do the, put the exhaust back in the tin shield. Then we're down the back of the car. After that, we could finally get all the engine stuff put back in and get this car pretty much tidied up.